What's up, everybody? Welcome to Zell. You've got Goose, and boy, am I glad that you stopped by today. I've got something really exciting to share with you about Zell, and it's a new partnership with Crux Pay, something we're calling Zell Crux. And let's get to the crux of the matter here because this is awesome. It really is gonna change the way you transact with cryptocurrency. Imagine an email address that you can create for yourself that is linked to all of your cryptocurrency addresses in Zellcore. That's what we're working on. That's what we've done. That's what's already here. And guys, I'm gonna show you how this works and how you can benefit from using it right now. So here we are on the Zell website. Check us out at zell.network and you can learn more about all of the different aspects of the Zell ecosystem. And I want to take us directly to our Medium post here about Crux Pay. And here's the issue, all right? This is really at the heart of why this is necessary. For cryptocurrency payments to go mainstream, the user experience has to be equivalent or better than its fiat competitors like Visa and MasterCard. As of today, that is not the case. I mean, think about it. How do you do a transaction with your Visa card? Very simply, you can swipe it at a credit card reader, you can type in the 16 digit code and confirm your transaction that way. Okay, if you wanna do the same thing with cryptocurrency, first of all, you have to be dealing with a vendor who can accept cryptocurrencies. And secondly, if they do, then you have to either scan the QR code on their terminal or their device, or you have to get their Bitcoin or whatever currency address from them so that you can plug that into your device. It makes it much more cumbersome to actually transact in crypto than it does to use the basics that we're used to, right? But how are we ever gonna expect this to catch on unless it's easy to use? Well, I wanna take us back in time to when email was first introduced, okay? You, I'm sure everybody remembers this. Email was something really cool, really special. And as soon as we started using it, that was a totally new way of communicating through the web. And it has completely changed the game for most of us, right? Now we're talking a time when cryptocurrency is becoming more and more of a reality and we want to be able to transact in that cryptocurrency more easily. But we've got this sort of difficulty of, you know, either memorizing Bitcoin addresses or having to click this or scan that and do all this extra stuff just to make it happen. Well, those days are over. Okay, now we have Crux Pay and I'm going to explain exactly what that means. CruxPay solves this problem by letting users interact with blockchain-based systems with ease. Okay, it allows them to create a human-readable ID, your Crux ID, that can be linked to all your blockchain asset addresses within a given wallet. So in the case of Zelle, it would be the Zelle Core multi-asset wallet, over 200 different assets and Ethereum tokens available in the wallet. We're constantly adding new assets uh, almost every update, and we're going to be seeing a tremendous ease of use now because of the Crux ID. So these IDs act as a user's identity in the crypto ecosystem and allows them to send or receive funds, request payments, authorize payments, and link dApps with their wallets securely and seamlessly. CruxPay is powered by Blockstack and secured by the Bitcoin hash power, okay? This is all done with the Bitcoin blockchain as the security layer. And it's built by the CoinSwitch team. If you'd like more information about CoinSwitch, you can check them out over on their website, which is coinswitch.co. And that will allow you to very easily swap one type of cryptocurrency for another. Whatever is supported by CoinSwitch goes out to several major exchanges and the exchange takes place and then they send it to you. Within a matter of 15 to 20 minutes is the average time for a swap. Sometimes it takes a little bit less, but that's in my experience how it's been. I really love it and I love what the guys are doing because it's something that's totally revolutionizing the way people trade person to person, all right? And that's what blockchain's really all about. Peer-to-peer -peer transactions, you and me, I want to send you something, you want to send me something, well, get my Crux ID and it's all done. 
super easy, just like sending somebody an email. Here's my Zellcor wallet. This is just a test account, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up CruxPay. Just go over here to the Apps button and then click on CruxPay. And this will initialize and open up the app. And it says right here that I don't have a, a Crux ID yet. So to set up a, a Crux ID, what you would do is just click the Set Up Crux Pay button. And then take note of what it tells you here. This is registering your Crux ID and ties it with your Zellcore Wallet 3 account. Now, what does that mean? And yours may, see, may actually say Wallet 1 or Wallet 2. It really depends on how you have your Zellcore Wallet set up for exchanges. So before we get into this, I do want to show you what we mean by that. So I'm going to go over here to Settings, click on Asset Management, and right here at the top it says Wallet for Exchanges, and you see mine is set to Wallet 3. So they do this on purpose. You have three different wallets that you can use, and basically what this allows you to do is sort of segregate or separate out the wallet addresses that you want to use for the exchanges in Zellcore. All right, so I like separating wallet three out from wallet one so I can kind of better track like what crypto is going where, and that's just the way I have it set up. The nice thing about this though is that you're not stuck with it, right? So if you happen to do it for wallet one and you want to change it over to wallet two or wallet three later on, you can do that through the management console. So don't even worry about it, but for all intents and purposes, if you want to kind of set it up right from the start with a specific set of addresses, Wallet 3 is the way mine is going to be set up. So I'm going back over here to Apps, Crux Pay, reload this, and then we'll click on the Setup button again. And we're going to type in a name just like we would if we were going to set up a new email address, right? So I'm going to type in Goose, and it immediately checks the availability to see if this Crux ID is available, and you can see Crux ID Goose is not available. I've already set this up for my main account. So once again, anybody want to send me a little crypto, you can do it very easily just by going to goose at zell.crux. Uh, but this would essentially tie all of the wallet addresses within Wallet 3 to this name, goose at zell.crux, okay? So that's how this is set up. Now let me show you my actual setup so that you can kind of get an inside scoop of how it works. Here's my main account. Now once you get it all set up, you can go back in here to CruxPay and it will take roughly three to four hours for all of your addresses to propagate within the system so that they can be used. You'll see right here, mine is done. The details say subdomain propagated and I have my ID, goose at zell.crux. Now, if I wanna manage this and change things, I can do it right here. Click on manage crux pay and that will pull up all of my wallet addresses. So I can even select which wallet I wanna use, in which case I can remap my Crux ID to any one of these right here. So I have wallet one, two, and three, which are the defaults. And then because I have a Zellcor Plus account, I can also switch it to premium one, two, and three. These are three additional sets of addresses that come automatically with any subscription to Zellcor Plus. So if you're interested in that, definitely take a look at what's available on the Zellcor Plus app set page. Now, if you want to change any one of these, you can basically delete them or remap them. That's essentially all you can do right now. So let me show you how easy it is to send yourself uh, or send crypto to a Zelle ID. Check this out. So I click on Zelle Cash and I want to send a little bit of Zelle Cash. I'm going to click the send button here, type in my pin, and then I'll go over here to where it says address and it says destination address or Crux ID. So now the old fashioned way would be to get the address and paste it here, right? But now all I gotta do is type in goose at zell.crux, put in the amount, make that a one, and then click send. And what it does, it'll automatically put in my address from Crux ID. So cool, all right? Here is the transaction. Verification, you can show that in the Explorer if you want to take a look and watch the progress. And then I'm going to click on the little X here, switch from wallet one to wallet three, and take a look right here. 
it's going to load up my transactions and at this top line right here boom there it is i got that little gear that says it's just waiting to be confirmed but it's already showing up on the blockchain it's that simple can you beat this i don't know it's so cool i love it so that is zelcrux in a nutshell, I hope you liked it. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. Tell us what your Zellcrux names are because it would be really cool to see what kind of names that you've created. Also, uh, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that we can get to our goal of a thousand subs and get these things monetized so that we get more suggestions and referrals and whatnot, recommendations on YouTube. So that's it for right now. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.